Hi, this is Celine the Tulip, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use comparators in Java. So what I have here is a project that I've put together, which is the Instagram system. So this is kind of just a little simulation of what it might look like to have a system that keeps track of Instagram posts and has Instagram users, etc. So let's take a look at what we have. We have a um, Instagram user, and the user just has first name, last name, a user ID, and actually a, a list of posts that this person has made. So these are Instagram post objects. Um, and then let's look at what an Instagram post looks like. So an Instagram post is actually a, a, a big um, object. We have an image, we've got a caption, we've got an Instagram user that we just showed you, um, who's the owner, maybe a date, how many likes this post has, who are the people who liked it, how many shares, who are the people who shared it, how many comments, what are the comments, and probably some kind of ID associated with every post. So this is sort of the, the, the fields that we might expect in a, in a very basic Instagram post. And we've got some getters and setters and that type of thing. Um, important to note that Instagram post implements comparable with Instagram posts. So we can compare Instagram posts with other Instagram posts. Um, and let's just go down and look at what that looks like. So this has a compare to that is going to compare based on ID. So if the ID is the same, it'll return zero um, or it'll, it'll order them by the ID number. Okay, so we have that. We have an Instagram system, and this system is kind of just our simulation, but it has a list of all of the Instagram posts. And um, when we initialize the system, it's gonna create posts. So that's my simulation mode down here, which just creates a whole bunch of, of fake Instagram posts, okay? And we have some sorting methods. And so this sort by ID calls the collections, passes in our array list of posts, and it's gonna sort it based on the compare to method. So that's all fine. Um, and then just quickly, we have a bootstrap, which is where we're testing things out. And this is what I'm gonna make. This is my main method. I'm just gonna make things run. Okay, so when we first run this, um, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna use a built-in sort method and then I'm going to comment out um, the rest of this code here that's at the bottom because we're not gonna do that yet. Source comment. Okay, so when we first run this, it's going to create the Instagrams in our Instagram system, which is gonna populate it with a bunch of fake Instagram posts. It's gonna print them out and then we're going to call the sort by ID and this is gonna use the built-in sort method that's making use of the compare to method in the Instagram post. So let's run this and see what happens. Okay, so we have a set of Instagram posts up here. Um, they're, they've got a bunch of captions, they've got owners, they've got IDs, um, they have some comments, or actually no comments or shares, and a few of them have some likes, okay. And then we did sort using the ID. So again, this is using the compare to method that's built in to our Instagram post object. And if you look at the IDs here, you can see that we're starting with the lowest ID and going up to the highest ID that's in our posts. So all good. Now the point of comparators though, is that using a compare to method and implementing comparable only allows you to sort by one field in an object, in this case, the ID of the post. But what if we wanted to sort by something else? Well, we can do that using comparators. And so if we go to our Instagram system um, uh, class, you can see that I have a couple of other sorts. So sort by ID, I have sort by caption and sort by num likes. And what's different about these two sort methods they're also calling collections.sort to sort our collection, which is called posts. But these two are passing in something. They're passing in a comparator. So they're creating a comparator. This one says new compare post by caption. So we're creating this comparator and passing it in. And this one says new compare post by likes. So these comparators are classes in themselves that will compare Instagram posts. And I've created those classes. So they are actually defined down here as inner classes inside of this class. So here's this one. So note that this is inside of my main class. So this says class compare post by caption. And this implements comparator. So that's different from comparable. 
This is comparator. So comparator, you can think of that as like iterator. So this is something that will compare for you. Um, and we've specified that this is a comparator that can compare two different Instagram post objects. And all you do to implement a comparator is just like comparable, you override the compare method. So when you implement comparable, you override compare to. When you imp implement comparator, you just override compare. And note that there are two um, of the objects passed in. So this is not a method that is inside Instagram post, right? We are in, in the Instagram system that creates posts. We're not inside Instagram posts, we're outside of it. So we pass in two Instagram posts and compare them and return how the first one relates to the second one. So it's very similar to a compare to method, except it's got two parameters. And we, again, return in the same way. So we return negative one if the first one's less than the second one, one if the first one's greater than the second one, or zero if they're the same. And again, it doesn't have to be negative one or one, it can be positive integer, negative integer. Okay, so we have this one, compare post by caption. And what this is doing is for Instagram post 01, it's getting the caption. And then it's comparing to, while ignoring the case, of 02.getCaption. So if you've done compare to methods that compare strings, this should look pretty similar. It's doing pretty much the same thing. And this compare post by caption is used up here in where we have a sort by caption method and we call collections.sort, we pass in the collection we're trying to sort and we create a compare post by caption um, comparator and pass that in. And similarly, this one down here, sort by num likes, we're calling collections.sort, we're passing in our array list of Instagram posts, and we're creating a compare post by num likes comparator and passing that in. So that one down at the bottom here looks like this. Now, num likes is an int, so we're doing 01.getNumLikes, and then we're just subtracting 02.getNumLikes. So this will return positive or negative or zero if they're the same. All right, so let's go through an example where we create another one. Let's first of all look at our Instagram post and imagine, actually, let's go back and run this and show what happens when we do this. So let's go to our bootstrapping system and let's uncomment this code that we have here. Um, source, toggle comment. Okay. Oops, I uncommented my comments. Okay. Um, all right, let's run this. Okay, so now we have our original list with the IDs and the captions and, the, and so on. We have the one that sorts by the ID here. Um, IDs are randomly generated, so these are different than last time. And now we have one that is sorted by caption. So if we look at the captions here, this one says Bond Selfie, Celine Selfie, Deb Selfie, Jacqueline. So you can see that these are actually in alphabetical order here. And then here we have this one is sorted by the number of likes and number of likes is over in this column. So these ones are all zero. And then we've got a couple of ones and a two and a three. So these comparators allow us to take the same collection and sort them based on different fields in the objects of that collection. So let's make one more. Let's look at our Instagram post and think what would we want to sort on. So we've done caption, we've done num likes, um, we've got ID. So why don't we do one based on um, the, who the owner is, the, the Instagram owner, the user. All right, let's try that. So go back to our Instagram system and let's create a, another comparator. So I'm going to copy and paste to save time. Mm. And we're going to call this compare post by user. And here, um, all we have to do is now instead of calling get num likes, let's see. 01 dot we can um, get owner that's the Instagram user and then once we have the owner we can get the user ID 
or let's go get last name. Let's compare by last name. Okay, and then we're going to compare to, so we're calling the strings compare to. Now we just have to do the same thing with O2. O2 dot get owner dot get last name. Okay, and then I think I need to put a semicolon in here. All right, so that's all we have to do to create a comparator that is going to compare by user's last name. Um, but of course we have to actually make a little sort method that will use that. So copy, paste, public void sort by user and compare post by user. Okay, save. And now we're just going to have to actually call this in here. So again, let's copy this. And we're going to sort using user, sort by user. Um, here is the sorted by user list. And let's run that and see what we get. All right, so now here's our sorted by user list at the bottom. And let's go look over here. Okay, so we've got Tyler Crow, Deb Das, Paul Franklin, Kyle Kiefer, Selena Tulip. Yep, so it's sorted by last name of user. So again, that's an example of how quickly and easily using comparators, you can do sorting of collections based on different fields um, of the object. So. Hope that was helpful to you and you can follow along with this example uh, to make comparators for your own classes. Thanks for watching.